Hey everyone, Sykri Yasin here, and in this tutorial I'm going to cover how to go about improving in drawing. And I think everyone's heard, if you want to get better at drawing, you got to draw, you got to practice. And this is something I say as well, but uh, what people, including myself, haven't really talked about is how to go about practicing. So that's what I want to talk about, because you might just think, well, okay, um, Cyrus said to just draw a lot, so I'm going to do a drawing of this person, and okay, great, I did a drawing. Okay, now I'm going to draw a cat, and yay, two drawings. And, I mean, you'll still get better if you do this, but uh, I'm assuming you want to get better pretty quickly, so... Um, one thing to do is to seek out tutorials, and especially for a beginner, uh, the best type of tutorials seem to be proportion tutorials, um, but you could, you could do other tutorials, you know, how to draw an eye. And uh, let's say, yeah, let's just talk about, let's just say you watched a how to draw an eye tutorial. And okay, so let's just say it goes in, in depth and it explains, you know, this is how you draw an eye and it, it goes into detail about all that, talks about the highlight and all that. And uh, okay, so now you have, this is, let's say this one is the tutorial. Tutorial. And now you're following along. So you carefully draw this and it takes you a while and you really try and uh, do your best to uh, get the shapes and again, I'm just make it a bit quicker, but uh, let's say you follow along and might not be perfect, but you know, it's close. And then you get your eye. Now, what a lot of beginners tend to do is they stop here and maybe this took them a good 30 minutes, right? So it's a 30 minute eye, but then they're like, okay, great, done. And I'm going to hang that up and draw something else. Maybe I'll look at a tutorial on how to draw a cat next or something like that. But this is not where you want to stop because this is just the first stage. Because what you've got now is a fairly correct drawing. Okay, so you've got it correct, but you don't have speed. And you need speed in order to achieve mastery because this is just one eye, but the way to get better is to draw a lot and draw a lot of eyes. And if it takes you 30 minutes to draw one eye, then it's going to take you, I mean, if you want to do a bunch of eyes, it's going to take a long time, right? If you want to do, uh, let's say 60 eyes, and after doing, you know, 60 eyes, you'll be pretty good at eyes, but it's going to take you 15 hours, right? So if you could reduce it so you were only taking a minute to do an eye, then you'd only take one hour to do 60 eyes, right? And you could imagine how much faster your, your progress is going to be. So what you want to do is you don't stop here. You know, you've got your first eye and it's correct. That doesn't mean you're done. What you want to do at that point is another one. And now you've had practice doing one, so this one might go a bit faster. You know, you might still need to refer to the tutorial. But let's say this one only took uh, 10 minutes to do. So, okay, great. Now you can get the eye in 10 minutes. You want to get faster. So keep drawing, keep doing more until you get it. So, you know, maybe it only takes a couple minutes to do an eye. And this is where you're getting closer to uh, mastery, right? Because now if you're only taking this much time, it's like, okay, now you, now you could do variations on that and it's going to be easy because it doesn't take you a long time. Um, so yeah, you eventually want to get it like you can do this in just a few seconds. It's like, okay, I want to do an eye. I know all the parts. You don't have to even think. And you want to do this, the same thing when it comes to things like uh, proportions, you know, proportions of the body. You look at a tutorial and it describes 
uh, proportions of the body, well, you don't want to have to, you know, spend a lot of time to, to understand the proportions. You want to get it so you can just get those proportions down real fast. And then when you can get it down fast, then you can do it a lot. Then you can experiment. Um, so if you can get an eye done in 30 seconds, then what you can do is start doing things like, okay, uh, maybe you start out doing the eye as a circle or something. And what you can do is start putting down in the beginning just a bunch of circles. So here we have like what, 12? And then just go ahead and do variations on your eye. You know, figure out, well, what if I do this? What if I make um, this bigger or smaller? And this is how you develop things like style as well. Uh, it can come naturally, but this is also another way is to just do trial and error. Find out what happens if you do different things. Um, you know, what could we do here? Maybe, maybe I'll have it so instead of like a dark pupil, I just sort of have a few lines. Um, can experiment with with the eyebrows because it's it's gotten to the point that it doesn't take you much time to do this and it's not hard. Uh, you don't want it to be taking a long time. If you imagine uh, playing, I don't know, what do kids play these days? <laughs> if there's like a video game, like let's say Street Fighter, right? And uh, you have to do like up down, I don't know, left, right, and then hit the A button or something to do a move, right? Maybe in the beginning, it takes a while and you have to go like, you have to focus on it. Um, and I don't know if this is a real move or what move it would be. Uh, <laughs> let's just say, let's just say it's a Hadouken because uh, um, I'm, I'm sure it's not. But anyway, whatever. So you got to think of it first, but that's not how you want to be playing the game, right? You just want to be able to say, okay, I want to do a Hadouken now. And then it's, it's automatic. You just punch in the, those codes, like boom, 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 get it done. You want to get that the same way when you're doing um, eyes or when you're doing faces, bodies, anything like that. You want to practice it to the point where it's easy, where you can have mastery and it's not this sort of slow process of, you know, you're, you're slowly drawing because that's where you start. There's nothing wrong with that, with starting out very slow and getting things correct. But that is not where you stop. And once you can do it fast, you'll lose this, you'll lose this feeling that, hey, I've done something, I can hang it up now and and treasure this because the act of, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being proud of your work, but if you're, if you only have like one drawing, then you really treasure it and you're afraid of doing more. And also when you happen to have a drawing, let's just say I, I didn't do all these and I was doing another drawing and I took my time on it and it seemed to be going well. Well, now I'm going to be sort of afraid because it's like, well, I don't want to mess this one up. It's, it's going well. And the reason is that usually it's that you haven't drawn enough because this is still precious to you. You know, you want to get it to the point that, no, I could, I could, what I did it once. I can do it again. That's no problem. I've done this so many times. It's just easy. It's like, okay, yeah, that's not a big deal. And then things won't matter as much. And you can you can be a lot more free. You don't have that fear when you approach art. And yeah, you'll just get more done. So, so that's what I would recommend doing is to practice things, start out getting things correct and do the tutorial, you know, get the proportions and everything, but don't stop there. And there's no need to, for instance, if I was doing a head tutorial, I don't need to even go into the eyes and make this into a face because right now that's going to take too much time. This is enough, you know, just practice 
at first getting maybe the basic shape. It's like, okay, can I, can I replicate this? Can I do this over and over again and have it fairly consistent? And then maybe it's like, okay, now let's see if I can, let me just get the nose and the mouth and the eye line in. It's like, okay, let's do that fast, you know, get that down. I'm comfortable doing that. Get the eyes, nose and mouth and just get really fast at doing that. And then it's just going to get to the point where it's like, okay, this is no trouble. I find drawing easy. And then you can say, okay, well, I've done these. What happens if I, if I make this really wide and I just push everything much wider? What's that going to look like? Get the eyes and the nose and the mouth. What happens if I move the eyes? Maybe I'll make it really tall this time and I'll move the eyes really high up in the nose and the mouth really low and you can experiment a lot more and find different types of uh, styles and designs on how you want to you want to do things so this is this is what I would do if I was uh, well I am <laughs> I'm teaching you how to how to practice get fast you want to get fast you want to build up the mileage don't just do something once do it enough that it's easy for you and then move on to the next thing and the next thing. And the more you draw, the easier everything will be.